Dear friends in Christ, welcome to the life of 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time 2023. This is the day that the Lord has made to reflect on the theme of forgiveness from the heart. We are in the world of facing many weaknesses in life and one of them is unforgiving attitude. We face this as a big problem in our day-to-day lives because forgiveness is not transferred from the heart rather it is given because of avoiding certain situations so we forgive others by our lips and the hurt feelings and the happenings of the past remain strong in our heart and remain forever like a cancer cells spoiling our health and our life too we are weak in saying i can't forgive However, I tried my best and I have taken lots of attempts but end in unforgiving life. Today is very interesting day and the possible day to spell before us the possibility of forgiveness from the heart through the liturgy and readings of the day. In the first reading, we find the author is saying forgive your neighbor if he has harmed you and then your sins will be forgiven when you pray it is a beautiful invitation in the straightforward manner to gain forgiveness from god and in the responsorial psalm we find the abundant mercy of god and his kindness it invites us to know the spirit of forgiveness to be gained from god and to be transferred to others in the second reading we find the promising statement of saint paul saying whatever we are we need to live for god because god has lived for us and in that living for god St Paul invites us to learn from Jesus our Lord the spirit of forgiveness for others. The main thirst of forgiveness is given with the example in the gospel through the parable of unforgiving servant. The master has cancelled debt because his servant pleaded with his family. Hence the owner has generously cancelled all for him but the servant has not done the justice to the offer given him he failed to live the life of forgiveness towards his fellow servant for a very little amount of debt through this story one thing is assured that is if you forgive god will forgive you Forgiveness is possible by us as Jesus the human personality has shown us on the cross where he had undergone all kinds of turmoil and tribulations shame and starving being deserted and betrayed with the denial yet he was able to forgive the whole of humanity who are cause for his death He forgave all of them without holding anything in his heart that is called forgiveness from heart. Dear friends, today is our day to learn something for life, to live our life peacefully by the attitude of forgiveness. If we notice today our life and our sickness which are mostly derived from our unforgiving life, We face lots of difficulties in forgiving the people who hurt us and cheat us. And so, we hold on to our anger forever that creates vengeance against our neighbor and our beloved people. We end in becoming sick bodily and mentally. Let's keep in mind that everyone is sinner and we know that to err is human and to forgive is divine. yet we hold on to the life of self righteousness and telling all that we are right even though the mistake is on our side 
we are right and others are wrong in our sight that has to be destroyed in us today which is very dangerous so that we can see clearly the human life is beautiful and others are your loving neighbor today we are invited to forgive others from our heart i can understand the pain that we have gone through when someone hurt us in the past we might have not forgotten that yet god is assuring us forgiveness whenever we pray in the lord's prayer and in the prayers provided that we have forgiven others we have no option then to forgive others from the heart it is a challenge for us to forgive someone from the heart it is possible when we look at the crucified jesus who forgave all who killed him let us allow ourselves to let go of anger in our life we must forgive others if you withhold forgiveness we can be certain that god will withhold it from us therefore it is in our hand to receive blessings from god even you find in one of the gospel passages which says when you come to the altar for offering and if you remember someone as again anything against you go and get reconciled and offer your offering it would be accepted in the same way forgiveness also granted when you forgive others this forgiveness is genuine and mutual and we should hold on to boundless forgiveness so that we won't count the number of times of forgiveness like st peter it is timeless and countless when we forgive others from the heart today can we forgive and forget the sins of others if s yes, we learn to live our life healthily and happily because forgiveness is a way of life and forgiving is a way of receiving peace and blessings from god and asking for forgiveness is art of living therefore forgive forgive and god's abundant mercy will be given to you amen